Hey all Turtle here, and today we are opening up some more Sword and Shield packs. We have another booster box right here to crack open, and it is the last week of February, so we're going to be doing our last ETB giveaway. If you want a chance to win one of these uh, Sword and Shield ETBs, definitely uh, stay tuned and watch the video, and we will get into those details. I think today we're going to open up half the box again. I felt like that was kind of the right uh, kind of like length of a video. And we're going to try to do the expedited process, skipping all the commons. And, you know, it, reality is we don't really, not too many of those that we're concerned about. So we're going to go right to the uncommons and then hit the reverse and the rare slots. Let's go with the left side of the box. Hopefully we can find a secret rare or something. Definitely the stuff we're looking for is... Actually, we need some professor researches and a ultra quick ball. Actually, no, Zacian. Have you guys seen the prices of Zacian lately? It's been a little bit since we've done a Pokemart, but in kind of like preparing for that. All right, let me think. I need to do this. And I actually don't remember what I was supposed to do. All right, so there was, oh, okay. Uncommons right here. And then we can skip all these. Ooh, all right, so we don't have the Syndrace, but is not the good one. We want the Libera one, definitely much better. And that card does have some potential. All right, I need to add two more cards moving to the back. But yeah, the Zacian is super expensive right now, even for the base rarity. So that's definitely the card we're looking for. All right, there we go. <laughs> now we're rolling. Let's see, we got a Garvantula. Air Bloom, pretty useful card. Put that off to the side. Poke Kid. Drapion is our reverse. And then a Stojourner. Still waiting for our first hit. Shoutouts to the winners of our first uh, handful of giveaways. Uncommon, B Sharp, Salazzle, a Grookey. Ah, I just created a Grookey, a Rillaboom deck that basically uses a lone executor, Rowlet, tag team to evolve it. And I think I might try it online. Right now I'm just gonna, I was thinking just play, using it for casual, like League and stuff. But I think it does have some potential. I think it can keep up with, you know, the ADP Zacians if you are able to get off some hammers. And so we do have four of those. And I don't think you need too many Poke Catchers because we are running the Cramorant to hopefully pick off stuff off the bench. I think the tricky matchup is not this Morpeko, but the Morpeko V just because it has exactly 170 HP, so it's just shy of a one-shot from Cramorant. But I'm, can, potentially we could try to mix in a Vitality Plan for that matchup, but I'm not sure yet. Still have to do some playtesting. All right, let's see, Corvusquire, Garvantula, Galarian Lanoon, Pinchorin. Okay, our first V card, and it is the Victini. I have seen some people running this in some like Blacephalon kind of decks. I feel like it's a pretty cool card, but maybe it's just a little slow. So I don't think it's... I haven't seen it used to great effect yet. Come on, let's find a Zacian. We've been super fortunate in pulling a couple Zacians of the gold variety. But at this point, I do want to create the ADP Zacian deck, and I'm probably not going to use the gold cards. So actually, wouldn't mind the regular one or the full art, actually, is what we're shooting for this time. And then a Lapras. All right, if you do want to enter to win this ETB, or uh, an ETB like it, as always, make sure you are subbed to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications if you have not and like the video and let's go with yeah you know what i do like that turtle gang shout out to pogo dad it's the first person to kind of mention that and i really like it Ooh, orb beetle this card i haven't seen yet but sounds really annoying once you're in turn you may look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and put them back in any order that's very annoying and while there's plenty of shuffle effects so i feel like the fact that you do like the first three is less relevant. It's just that you throw off his draw because most likely your opponent's gonna be shuffling. But if you can do that every turn, 
you'll just kind of give them the worst of three cards and then you kind of have to reset that probably every turn and to some degree like you know with professor's research and stuff like that it it will just throw off their their draw nothing else we got a whimsicott Ooh, this is a really good card I'm starting to mix that into some of my decks but uh, all right yeah let's do the hashtag turtle gang let everyone know that you are part of the turtle gang so to enter like subscribe and hashtag turtle gang in a comment down below and you will be entered as always we will pick a winner friday at some point ordinary rod useful card i am using that in the real boom deck just because especially especially if cramorant is our kind of like one of our damage sources uh kind of like the only other one i think that's the the difficult part is the only other source of damage beyond the alolan executor which isn't that good fighting wise is the delmize which only can do 200 damage uh for an attack that you can't use next turn anyway all right let's see double dug trio Switch always needs switches. A Grookity. Ooh, okay. We did get a full art supporter in BD. And I'm glad this is not the rainbow version again, just because uh, as far as rainbow rares, it's not bad, but, or hyper rares, that doesn't feel like the best one you can get. BD, definitely underwhelming supporter. Attach a basic energy to one of your bench Pokemon. Alright, that is our second hit. And actually, we're moving along quite well quite at a good pace so potentially we'll open more of these usually don't like these videos to be more than 10 minutes long all right dark energy Rhyhorn Eldegoss Air Balloon Gossip Floor <clears throat> and then just a clay doll If you guys haven't caught one of our Twitch streams, I definitely recommend doing so. We stream on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 7 p.m. EST, playing PTCGO, and we do tons of pack giveaways throughout the streams. So if you do play the game, uh, they we use Streamlabs to do a nice giveaway system, and it works really well. Toxic Crook for that additional poison damage. All right, so far we only got two hits and none of them are home runs. I like just having full art supporters just from like my binder collections, but that one's nothing crazy. Definitely would have preferred the professor's research. Still like, yeah, we've been struggling to pull those. I think I currently only have one, which is pretty, pretty insane considering how many packs we've opened. Not that, again, not that we've been getting bad pulls. In fact, I'm super happy with how our pulls have been going overall so far for Sword and Shield. Metal Saucer, very good card. Rotom Bike, Big Charm, also good. Grookey, and then the Galarian Rapidash. Quick ball, can never have enough quick balls. I think that's the most uh, relevant card in this set. I feel like it's useful in every deck. Although I feel like coming in the next uh, set, the Rebel Clash, Rebel something, I think it's called Rebel Clash. And actually we released a video over the weekend kind of talking about some of the cards in there. A lot of cool ones, but there's a lot of evolution so potentially, you know, things like, eh, I'm not sure about Great Ball, but, you know, everything won't be accessible through Quick Ball. So that, things could change as far as how relevant Quick Ball is. Salazzle, Galarian Ponyta. Ooh, we got another full art in a Snorlax V Max. So as far as only helping half of the box so far, we're getting a lot of our better hits. Two full arts and just one V. But we didn't hit that secret rare, so maybe we'll finish off this box in a future episode. But reminder, if you do want to enter the giveaway, once again, the steps are to make sure you are subscribed, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. And it is through the comments that we choose the winner with a hashtag turtle gang. Make sure everyone knows you are part of the turtle gang in our last pack. Here we go. Alright, 
think we got something. Well, it looks kind of like a dark border, so I'm guessing a V. All right, Zacian V, right here, right here. Ready? Heat more. Stun Fisk. Hyper Potion. You know, one thing about this set is there's no more Cosmic Eclipse, the Secret Rares. I thought I did like them, but uh, seeing after a while, they were not too hard to get all of them. But now, you know, there's no, nothing cool to find the reverse slot, which I do miss. We have a Thwacky and... Oh, ooh, okay. Kramer V, very good card. Uh, once again, I'm using it in that Rillaboom deck. 160 damage to wherever you need it. Just one shy of one shot more Peko, though. That would be awesome. So, very solid opening. We'll probably open it, the rest of this box in a video later this week. So, stay, stay tuned for that. Make sure you're into the giveaway. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.